freedom will always triumph over tyranny. Leaders on both sides of the aisle wearing blue and yellow, the colors of Ukraine's flag, a show of solidarity with the country under attack. Biden pledging to come down hard on Russia and Putin. Making Putin's $630 billion war fund worthless. We're choking Russia's access. We're choking Russia's access to technology that will sap its economic strength and weaken its military. Republican Congressman Tom McClintock says the bipartisan support for Ukraine is unwavering, but both sides do not agree on the impact on fuel supplies here in America. To provide uh, whatever aid the Ukrainians need uh, to continue their fight and to do everything we can to cripple Russia's finances. But we have got to restore American energy independence. Fresno Congressman Jim Costa says Biden was able to unify the chamber by backing investment in law enforcement. Focusing on uh, the fact that uh, uh, we need to fund our police, not defund them. Fund them with resources and training. Resources and training they need to protect our communities. The president's speech acknowledged the grip that opioid drugs have on much of the country, including Central California. Stop the flow of illicit drugs by working with state and local law enforcement to go after the traffickers. Representative McClintock says it's a problem that can be attributed to weak immigration policies. He's opened our borders. Fentanyl is flooding across those open borders, and now he wants to stop it. A little late, but perhaps late, better late than never. Congressman David Valadeo says he would have liked to hear the president mention the water crisis for California growers. That's had an impact on consumers nationwide. There's thousands of acres in the Central Valley that are struggling. All we need is water. And uh, if you would be more helpful on the waterfront, obviously that would make a huge difference and that would help lower the, uh, the cost of food. And a couple announcements that were made on the COVID front. Biden announced that starting next week, people will be able to order another round of those free rapid COVID-19 tests from the government. He also announced that the administration is going to be launching an initiative that's going to make those antiviral COVID pills available at local pharmacies for those who test positive for the virus. In downtown Fresno, Alyssa Flores, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.